This Electric Attack fans is a Swan brand electric toaster and dates from somewhere between the 1940s and 50s, maybe a bit earlier than that, but um, it was certainly a mass produced unit. Um, this particular model being available in two different shades light bronze and chrome plated. Uh, this is a catalogue number 950 or part number 950 and it's probably from somewhere around the 40s to 50s, like I said. Um, Unlike a modern conventional toaster, it has no auto cutoff, so it's just a question of putting the bread in and um, keeping an eye on it until it's done. But also, you have to turn it around a second. You also have to flip the door down to uh, turn the toast over. But I'll demonstrate that in a second. So here we have the original guarantee car which came with the, the um, appliance. Um, this toaster is guaranteed for a period of one year against electrical breakdown or mechanical failure. And it goes on to read about um, returns to supplier. Obviously, you have to fill out the card. Unfortunately, it would have been nice. No one's bothered to fill out the purchase date on this, so it may have even been an unused product. And if you go inside there, uh, got a bit more bump on there. But, um, this particular model at the time of publishing was available in light bronze and chrome plated. Also, have the original box, which is a nice feature. Uh, pretty much the same on both sides. And down there is the. Uh, the model number of the product inside. But enough waffle, let's um, demonstrate the product. So with this product, like I was saying, there's no actual cutoff. You just have to put the bread in and um, keep an eye on it. And you do that by these two little baker light handles here. The doors fold down thusly. You load the bread in, which I should demonstrate now. So pop a piece of bread in there. I also, just one thing to note, I had to buy smaller bread for this product. That may have been because of the time this um, toaster was in manufacture. It was just after the Second World War. And I think bread by then had become rationed. It certainly wasn't rationed during the Second World War. But just afterwards, I think there was a limit on the, what you could buy. So it may have been produced slightly smaller. Hence the, the size of the tray isn't very accommodating for, for modern bread. But I'm uh, waffling there, so I shall put this on and demonstrate. So, so bread loaded like that. You obviously could do um, two sides at once because it is double sided. It doesn't take very long at all actually for the toast to, to warm because it's right next to the element. Earlier models um, didn't even have the, the Bakelite handles, they were quite crude in their design and it really got quite hot but this is obviously still getting quite warm but not as bad as um, some of the predecessors. Just check if that's done. You see the way it flipped down like that? So it's actually turned the bread, the bread over. And there we are, look, within a few seconds, it's done that side. The bread, I'll demonstrate that again. So, toast side up, flip it down, and it just drops back into the tray to allow you to then do the other side. Brilliant. That's about 20 seconds now. Yeah, and I'd say that's, um, that's done. So I'm gonna put some butter with that and have a nice cup of tea. Obviously, don't forget to turn it off at the wall. Well, there we go. That was just a quick demo of my Swan Brown toaster from the 40s to 50s. Uh, it's not a daily toaster. That actually, um, that actually is my Hoover, which is this one over here, which I have pre previously demonstrated. Um, that's a bit more suited to everyday use. Um, but the Swan Brown I find is actually slightly better for things like crumpets and thicker pieces of bread. So it tends to get dragged out on those occasions. But uh, all this talk of bread and toast is uh, getting me hungry. So I'm going to enjoy a cup of tea now with a nice slice of toast. Thanks for watching.